Charleston White said on Say Cheese TV that Meek Mill and all these other rappers who were claiming that Young Thug needs to come home on bond because of inhumane treatment are wrong and that Young Thug needs to stay where he is. Let's dive into it. Rap music is inhumane. When did them niggas start thinking about humanity? When did rappers with all these guns and killing and bitch this, drank this, pour water on the whole head, pour shampoo, champagne in the bitch's eye, pour burr down on pussy, when did these niggas start being humane? When did YSL wasn't humane? They putting hits on niggas ass in jail. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Rashad Crenshaw back again with another video. Now, Charleston White on Say Cheese TV, you heard it yourself. He said that he doesn't believe that Meek Mill and all these other rappers who have tweeted about Young Thug being under inhumane conditions and deserving to come home, he believes that all of those tweets and statements are full of shit. So, we already know, if anyone's familiar, if you're familiar with Charleston White, you know Charleston White is brash, he's very blunt and straightforward with how he feels about gangster rap, gangster culture, and he's against it. Very much against it. So am I. Now, Charleston White comes out and says that Young Thug does not deserve to come home on bond because of inhumane treatment. And there was a very, there was a very poignant point that he made. And that was the fact that if we go based on the lyrics that he was spitting, the indictment pages that we're looking at, we go, we look at the entire picture from top to bottom, from the culture and imagery and lyrics that Young Thug was putting out all the way down to the charges in the indictment. And you take into account the entire picture that all these rappers have painted for all these years, for the last 30 years, the last three decades, the image they have sold to you, to me, to everyone else in the community. They have sold an image of inhumanity. They've sold an image of inhumanity. They have sold an image of killing one another, destroying one another, selling drugs to one another, and irresponsibly having sex with one another and creating children out of wedlock, they have marketed and promoted absolute chaos and inhumanity to us for three decades straight, this gangster rap hip hop industry. Now, it's ironic and hilarious that at this stage in the game, now everybody is crying out for humanity. Meek Mill, as many, as many bars as he spat about spinning the block and being about it, about it, and being in the streets and being ready to run down on so-and-so and do this and do that, how can you then back up Young Thug and say that Young Thug is under inhumane conditions? Recall, make me correct me if I'm wrong, but spinning the block, shooting up the op's mama house, lighting it up. I'm just saying that when you engage in that kind of activity, you make your neighborhood and your community less hospitable. You make the conditions inhumane. When the police are on the block 24 seven to stop black men from shooting at one another and killing each other, those conditions for the people who aren't participating in that are inhumane. When you promote death and self-inflicted genocide to a community, that is inhumane. How can you then turn around when a rapper is under the weight of his consequences and say, y'all are treating him unfairly, that's inhumane. When you just sold inhumanity to your people for three decades straight, you're connected to people who sold inhumanity for three decades straight. Meek Mill, if I recall correctly, you're signed to Rock Nation. Jay-Z spent years rapping about drug dealing. In fact, even long after his career prime was over, he made a song with Young Jeezy called Seen It All. And I'm not gonna lie, that shit's a banger, bro. I'm gonna keep it on it. I'm gonna keep it real. I'll be honest, I'll give credit where credit is due when a song sounds good, a song sounds good. But the reality is, sitting there glorifying being in the dope game, the coke game, the drug game, rapping about it like it's some sort of an accomplishment, making anthems about selling drugs. Man, I've met grown ass black men with kids fantasizing about the streets and drugs and, 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 and I'm like, nigga, you work a normal job. You're an entrepreneur, you do normal shit. Why are you fascinated with this shit? Why are you fascinated with destruction? That's what this, industry has created is a sick and twisted fascination with death and destruction and i'm taking charleston white side 100 i've got to back him on this how is it that we can sit there and support inhumanity for years they were talking about we smoking on tuca they laughed at him now tuca's mama is on say cheese tv doing interviews i'm just saying we we uh, what else did we do we laughed alongside who i smoke when they dropped that song we were laughing singing along nobody came out and said oh my god what the hell is happening 
when King Von got killed, it was folks rolling up the, 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 we smoking on Von. It was pictures of his dead body on the internet. Nobody said anything about inhumane conditions in the black community. Nobody said anything about an inhumane culture. Nobody said anything when the community was suffering from a shit culture. No one said anything. One rapper fucks up and crashes out. And now all of a sudden it's the end of the world. Come on. Like, really? 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 This is how we want to do? This is what we're going to do? Like, this is how y'all want to play it? This is the angle that the, the hip-hop community wants to come from? You want to come from the angle of Meek uh, uh, of Meek and all these others claiming that Young Thug is a victim? That Young Thug is under inhumane treatment? What about the alleged murder that he's supposedly involved in? What about the attempted murder of trying to kill Wyeth and Lucci in jail? If jail is so inhumane, I would imagine paid assassins in the jail trying to kill you is also inhumane that's just an assumption though that's just me though that's just me i mean i i would imagine that if jail is so fucked up and so horrible to be in i would imagine people trying to stab you up and kill you would be five times ten times as inhumane as simply just being in jail am i wrong am i wrong really i mean come the fuck on these are the people that we're gonna listen to meek mill meek mill Come on, Meek still raps about drug dealing and, and gang banging. To this day, he's like 34. He's like 35. Still to this day, Meek Mill still raps about the streets. Look, I understand Meek is a, is a dude that came from the streets. He came from that background that's his real life. But at some point, you got to stop glorifying a narrative and a, and a lifestyle that you know you, you would never live. Meek, you're rich now. You're a rapper. You don't live the street life because you know it, there's nothing for you to gain from it. Why are you still glorifying it at this stage in the game? At this stage in the game in your rap career, why are you still glorifying something that you know has no gain for you or anybody else who participates? Why? Why? Why does, why does this whole industry get to promote death and destruction and then turn around and decide what's inhumane and what's not? No, 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 no. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane that a toxic part of the culture can dictate and drive demand and demand this and demand that after all the leeway and power that this segment of the culture has had in the last th three decades i'm sorry but y'all can't turn around and talk about what's humane after young Dolph died and black youngster does a video in front of a, a tombstone with the name thornton on it i mean bro like at what point do we shut these rappers out and say y'all shut up we don't want to hear from y'all shut up with all that talking Y'all and rap, y'all and talked enough. You didn't spend thirty years putting out hundreds of thousands of rap songs, all full of bullshit and fuckery. You've spoken enough. Now let the people of Atlanta and the government of Georgia and the government of the city of Atlanta figure out what they want to do with YSL. Let the case play out. Let the case play out. Stop trying to sit there and angle and do this and do that and oh, it's inhumane, it's this and that. Nah, y'all spend enough time promoting inhumanity enough as it is. Hopefully, hopefully, if the conditions really are that bad and they're just and they were lying, like they're really torturing Young Thug in there or they're not giving him water or whatever the case might be. If something truly horrible comes up in there, then hey, you know, let, let, let it be handled. There's no reason, there's no excuse for abusing an inmate, no matter how much you might dislike them, no matter how famous they might be. However, I just think it's crazy that the gangster rap segment of hip hop is talking about inhumane treatment. Like, we didn't just sit there and watch the glorification of black women and children being killed and having drugs sold to them and all manner of fuckery just be glorified for three decades straight. And now you want to turn around and try to stop a man from being held accountable for his actions against the community. This is why we can't win. This is the same Meek Mill that defended B. Simone for stealing a book. Stealing a fucking book. Like you're not even motivated enough to write a book about your own life. You're stealing and you come Meek Mill. She y'all mad her because she finessed the book. Jesus Christ, bro. This is what we got to deal with in the community. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. I want to hear from y'all. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hurry up. Fuck with me. Subscribe. Hurry up. I love y'all. Subscribe, please.